In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how you can open a store on Etsy. So how you can start selling products on Etsy. What you want to do for that, make sure you logged in, go to the top right corner, and then here you can see your account. We actually want to go to this, and here we can start setting up our shop. So you want to hit a start selling on Etsy right here. I've already done that. So we can change the shop language. So let's do English. Shop country is the Netherlands and the currency is euros. Yes, I want this. Uh, which of these best describes you? So selling is, um, I sell part-time, but I hope to sell full-time. That's what I want. Save to continue. And here we can enter in our shop name. So let's do Ryan shop 2021. So check availability and it's available. So make sure you find a good name that you want um, and then check the availability because not everything is available. So then we can hit save and now we can add a stock to our shop. So add as many listings you can. So that's what we can do, add a listing. Uh, there we go. We can add photos um, like this and then we can add videos as well and listing details and all of these stuff. So as you can see, this is very, can be a little bit complicated, but we'll get through it. So here we can add a photo. So let's add anything we want. So for example, this one, this is just a random picture, but let's, let's do that. This is a real product that I want to sell. So this is the thumbnail. You can adjust it here. This is how it will look like. You can add any photo you want. We can also add a video. I'm not going to add a video for this video. <laughs> funny but you uh, always can so here the title um intel core i3 so of course on etsy but for this video let's say we we do about this listing who made it i did a member or another company so in this case it's another company uh what is it it's a finished product or a supply or tool to make things so yeah it's a supplier tool to make things when was it made? It was made in 2018. So we have to hit 20. Yeah, this, right? Um, then the category CPUs. Uh, yes, there it is. CPU in computers. Uh, primary color. So for this product, it obviously doesn't matter. It's, it's gray. The secondary color is blue. And then the renewal option. So we can do it automatically or we can do it manual because you have to pay 20, 20 US dollars to list this product. So if you want to renew um, every four months, you can do it on automatic. I'm leaving it like this. And now we have to do the type. If it's a, is it a physical or digital product? So for me, it is a di physical product because it really gets sent to their homes. However, if you're selling software, you can always do digital, of course. So here, here you have to do the description. So description. Uh, I'm not going to fill in anything here because this is just for this video to show you. We can add tags. If you don't know what tags are, it's basically to better rank it in Google SEO uh, and Etsy that for specific keywords that it comes here. So we can do Intel Core um, i3, i3-8100, etc, etc. So we can do the material. So for this product, it doesn't really matter. But if you sell a product that you made yourself, you can always add the materials here. So here the price, let's do $100. That's what we can do. And the quantity, uh, we have 10 of them. 10. Let's change the price to $100. And then if yeah, this is basically SKU is a code, so we can do any code we want, or we can just leave it. Uh, let's say if we if we leave it, buyers won't see it anyway. This is more for, for you that you can recognize the product immediately by seeing the SKU, but you don't have to do this. And if you're just starting out with a few products, I would not recommend you to do it. If you have variations, so let's say you have different colors for t-shirts, for example, you can add it here. You can hit add variations. We can add a color or a size, and that will be the main ones here, primary color, di diameter of material, all that stuff, you know, personalization, I'm leaving it off. And now we get to the good part of delivery. Country of origin, yes, from the Netherlands. Processing time, um, it will take up to three to five or five to seven business days in this case. Um, fixed postal postage price, yes. Uh, the Netherlands, the delivery company, other, 
um, delivery time will be one to two days and the charge is free. However, for everywhere else, we are going to do a delivery time of five to seven because it takes way longer to get abroad. And then we have to do a fixed price, which we can fill in here. One item, $5 fixed price to ship. We can also add different locations. So let's say we want a fixed price for Germany or Belgium of $4. We can set it up right here. So now we can add a delivery upgrade um, if we want to. Of course, this is optional. If the person wants to choose a faster shipping, we can, we can call it faster shipping and we can make it more expensive or secured shipping. And basically that they can choose what kind of shipping they want. So we can add a delivery upgrade uh, always if we want to. For this video, I'm not going to do it. Customs information, tariff number. So this info may be required on custom forums. So if you have to do that for a product that can be held by customs, you have to find this out because I've never done it with, with any product. You don't really need to if you're just selling normal products. Um, preview postage price. So here it looks like this. Netherlands, free. Total price will be 100 euros for this product. Then we can hit save and continue. And let's see if we forgot anything. Uh, looks like we don't. So this is a product we added. And you can add a way more. You can add a lot of listings. It's going to cost you $20 per listing. So now hit save and continue. And here we have to enter in how you would like to get paid. So Etsy payments give buyers the most payment options and gives you Etsy seller protection. So here you have to fill in the tax information. So you can do it as an individual or as a corporate business. I'm going to do it as inv individual. You basically have to fill in all the information right here and then you have to send it to your bank. So for my country, I can only pay out by bank because I can do Netherlands, where it is. There it is. And as you can see, your payment will be in Euro. If here you have to enter in the bank name, IBAN, etc., etc. It really depends on your country because sometimes they pay out in different payment methods, but in this case, it is my bank account. So you just want to fill in all this information here and then we can set up the billing. So I'm going to do this right now. So now we can hit save and continue like that. And there we go. Now it's going to save and now you have to verify your ID to set up billing. So this is what you have to do and then you can set a billing. It's not that hard. This is basically that I want to verify that you're real and that you're actually that, are you, that you're actually going to sell on Etsy and get paid through it. So this is basically the tutorial. This is not that hard. You just want to verify it and then you're basically done with setting up your account. If this video helped you out, please leave a like, please subscribe and see you next time. Have a good day.